welcome back the next step is we need to read the xml file and from that xml file we need to extract the file name size object etc that's what we need to extract from the xml file okay so that my step number two read xml file and from that xml file from each xml file we need to extract first one is file name and from size we need to extract the width and height of the image next from object we need to extract the name xmin xmax ymin and ymax so these are not the information we need to extract from the xml file we know that let's say this is my xml file using this elements we can simply extract those information before that let's see how to load an xml file and from that how we can able to extract this or parse it we will see that all right the first step is let me define the tree is equal to et which is my elementary which i already imported from this step now here et dot parse and we need to provide let's say for the sake of simplicity i will show you how to read one xml file this is my xml file i need to parse this xml file the next step will be root is equal to tree dot get root and once you do this and now we can able to extract all the information let's execute this for the sake of simplicity let's print root and what you can see is that it is defining that we are in the element name annotation okay let me open my xml file and here we go we can see that we are in the annotation element now from this we can simply and from this we can simply call the element and we using that we can able to extract the text from it let's first extract the file name from this okay so extract file name the first one is the extract file name we can let me delete this we can simply extract the file name by taking the root and from this root we just need to find the path path defines a tag we need to find the path of this which is nothing but the tag or element let's say this is my file name you should be exactly precise this is my file name i want to extract copy it and paste it here and now in order to get the text inside this you can simply do dot text press enter and we can see that we can able to extract the text from this and let me name it as image name so let's save this information in the image name similarly i want to extract the width and height of the image all right let me open this xml file and width and height of the image which is there in the size for that what you have to do is we need to find the size first and then after the size we need to find the width and height separately that's what we need to do okay let's see that width is equal to from the root i need to find the size i need to find the size first okay and once i find the size then let's put, let's let's put dot and find again we i need to find the width of the image which is this width i need to call this width okay now width in order to extract the text let's put text let's see let's print width okay execute this it is 1024 let's see that yes exactly we got 1024 similarly let's extract height which is height and which is actually inside the size i need to find the height okay that's what i need to call here now let's print width comma height oh we got an error this is width which is 1024 comma 657 
and that's correct. So this is how we can actually extract the size. The next step is I need to extract the name xmin, xmax, ymin, ymax from the object tag. Okay, this is tricky process. You can see that there are multiple objects are there. This is object 1, this is object 2, and this is object 3, and so on. So for this process, I need to do some kind of a for loop. Let's see that. From the root, instead of, let's see that. Let's say if we have a single element, we can use a simple find. If at all you are having the multiple elements of the same one with the same name, then we will use a find all. Let's see that. Root dot find all. The name of the element is object. Let me put in a variable objects. Now execute this. Let's see. Let's print the objects. And here you go. We have one, two, three, four. There are four objects are there. Okay. From each and every object, I need to extract the name xmin, xmax, ymin, and ymax. Let's see one object. In order to get first object, let me put object of 0 and this is my obj. Okay, now we are in the first object which is this. This is my first object. From this first object, I need to extract the name. And inside this, we have the bounding box. In this bounding box, I need to extract xmin, xmax, ymin, and ymax respectively. Let's see how to do that. Okay, the name can be defined as name equal to obj dot, which is my object. And from the object, I can find the name and dot text which will extract the text from it. Next. Next one is I want to extract the bounding box information. Let's say BND box. And I can able to extract from object, find bounding box, which is BND box. And now this is my, this becomes my object. From this bounding box, I need to find xmin, and in order to get the text, I can simply get the text. And this I can name it as xmen. Similarly, let me take the xmax. I can simply copy this, paste it here. This is my xmax. And ymin and ymax. This is my ymin. And this is my ymax. Okay, so this information we can able to put in a list. So the list will be name, xmin, xmax, ymin, ymax. Let me print this. And here you go. We have the car. And this is my xmin, xmax ymin and ymax okay so this is how we can do for one object similarly we can also do it for the multiple objects by simply doing the for loop so the for loop will be for object and objects and put everything inside the loop you print this and we can get all the bounding box information from this. Now this we need to place here. Here. Okay. So with this I can able to get all the objects and image name etc. What I want to do here is that in this list itself I need to I will put image name width and height of the image. I can simply write image name, width and height. Okay, so let me name this as parser. 
which is what actually I'm extracting it. Instead of that, let me do one thing. Let me take the parser is my empty list. Is my empty list and append all this information into this. So simply I can do dot append of parser and with this I can able to place all the information into my parser. Let me finally print parser. Okay, height, height, done. So we have successfully put all the information in the parcel. Let me put print like this and this is clean. Which indicates that from this image, the width of the image is this and the object name is this and the bounding box information for this object is this. So this is how we can extract all the information from the bounding box. What I'll do, let me put everything in a function. So this will be my file name. And from this file name, I want to extract the get root. And from this, I can able to extract all the information. So let me put this in a function and name this function as extract underscore text. And the input for this is my file name and I'm going to return parser okay now execute this and with this my function extract text is ready let me apply it for all the XML files I'm having with me but that's going to be equal to parser underscore all equal to and since I just want to apply this function to all the XML files, I can simply use this map, map, and the function name I need to apply is extract text. Next, the iterables will be my XML files. Let me convert this entire function into list and execute it. This will take some while, please be patient while executing this process.